Well, don't count your corn until it's thrown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you throw the corn. That's how you throw the corn. Simmer That's down you throw the corn. now. Okay. Simmer down. Okay. Ooh, oh. I got you now. Okay, okay. Well done. <laughs> well done. But are you ready for this? Oh, oh! <laughs> yes! I'm that. the king of the corn. Oh, oh, I'm the king of the corn. Hey! Yeah. Oh. Oh. How do you like it? Yeah. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And today we'll be making waves right here in the middle of my basement. Because you don't need to be somewhere special in the world to make a difference. Oh, no, not at all. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes people have special sporting events to raise money for those in need? Well, that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, John and I have set up a nine-hole miniature golf course in here for our first annual Putting for Change Miniature Golf Invitational. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here's how it works. For each round, we'll try and put a golf ball into a hole. The person who hits the ball in the hole with the fewest number of shots wins the round. The loser of each round has to put some change into this jar. Mm. At the end of the tournament, everything in the jar will be given away to help change the world. Ooh, that sounds great. Let the games begin. Yes. So here we are at hole number one. It's a standard par three through the tube or around the clown type of hole. I'm going to uh, hit it around the clown because the tube never works for me. And oh, make sure you watch out for the squirrel head at the end. That guy is nuts. <laughs> I'll tee off first. <clears throat> John lines up the shot. It's a pretty straight shot despite the obstacles. Will he get a birdie or will he choke? 
leaving the door open for the far superior golfer. You do realize I can hear you, right? I, no, I, I just, I thought it would add to the overall feel of the tournament. Yeah, well, it doesn't. Wow. Not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> You're in a bind now, though. I am. Two. Oh! Two! Beat that, uh -huh. huh? Yeah, okay, two. I will. I will. Oh! You know what beats two? Yeah. What? Okay, okay, Hole fine. One. Yeah, great Hole job. Great one. job using the Hole two. And, and you yeah, win a trip what? to the change jar. Sure, sure. I got change right here. Okay, All right. Here we go. I, hear, I love that jingle. Boom. There you go. Great right. job, Brandon. Woo! Hole number two. All right. Hole number two. Over the water, through the woods, past grandmother's house to victory. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You need a tissue? No, I'm fine. Sure. Yeah. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I think that means you owe the jar. Woo! Right? Is that what the rules say? That's what that's what the rules say. I forget the rules. Is that what they say? The change, you know? You deserve, you gotta put change in there. You gotta Oh that's what they say! <laughs> it's on now. Oh yeah? Yeah! Come on! Bring it! Bring it! If you miss that, I win. I remember. I just wanted to make sure. Would you stop that? What? Nothing. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> I win! I win the first annual putting no. change nine hole miniature golf invitation. No, no. Ah, pay up. You distracted me. You pay up. No, you. 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 <laughs> Look what Our you jar did. of change. I won. You sit on a golf square. cart of lies. No, I no, you distracted no, me. I did guys, not. Hey, guys. I'll show you how to putt. You know what I think it's time for? Bible, Bible story, story time, time with, with Kellen? Kellen? That's right. How's it going? He's he kept distracting me, but no, no. actually, I wasn't really asking because I can tell how it's going. But first, I did want to say this. I love the idea of you guys having a golf tournament. You do? 100%. There are a ton of lives you guys could change. That's See, what if I've you been trying just, to say. Ba, 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 ba. But you're missing one of the best ways to do that. We, we are? are? Yep. And that's what today's story is all about. So just sit back and listen. This story is about an amazing woman named Abigail. Hello? A woman who helped make peace and saved lives. We'll hear her story today on Behind the Bible. Alrighty then. Right. So the story of Abigail actually begins with King David. Well, he wasn't a king yet. I know that. I'm the narrator. I just wanted to make sure. Before he was king, David and 400 of his men were hiding in the desert from King Saul. Living in a desert is not fun. It's burning hot. There's not enough food or water. 
and it's burning hot. And just so we all know, David didn't give video interviews because cameras wouldn't have been invented for thousands of years. Are you gonna let me do my thing? For now. While in the desert, David and his men met some shepherds who worked for a wealthy landowner named Nabal. We were friends with the shepherds. We even protected them from danger. So at sheep sharing time, I sent some men over to Nabal to ask for whatever food he might be able to spare. Since we were living out in the desert, where it's burning hot. Now, Nabal might have been a wealthy landowner, but he was also a meanie face. I didn't know David. I didn't know his family. Who cares that he uh, uh, protected some of my workers? So when his men came and asked me for help, I told them, oh, I told them, why should I give what's mine to people I don't even know? When David found out how Nabal responded, he was very angry. Yeah, I was pretty mad. I think I said something like, may God punish me greatly if I don't get revenge. So yeah, I was ticked. This is where Abigail comes into the story. She was Nabal's wife. I was getting to that. I know, but I, I like help. When Abigail heard how angry her husband had made David, she jumped straight into action. I mean, what was I supposed to do? David had 400 men and he wanted revenge against my husband. So I loaded up bread, meat, wine, fig, oh, and raisin cakes, and I took them to David. When I saw him, I bowed down and I said, please pay no attention to that wicked man, Nabal. His name means fool. He's always doing foolish things. I'm sorry. Then she said to me, the Lord has kept you from using your own hands to get even. Someday, the Lord will appoint you ruler over Israel. When that happens, you won't have to worry about how you got revenge without any reason. That was exactly what I needed to hear. Abigail's words brought peace. And the raisin cakes didn't hurt either. Abigail changed the whole story. She stepped into a bad situation that she didn't even start and helped make peace. Abigail changed the whole story. She stepped into a bad situation. I already said that. Oh man. Meanie face. Sorry, let's make peace. Fine. This has been Behind the Bible. Wow, that makes me feel silly. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Hey, we all get caught up sometimes, like when you're in a competitive game or when someone feels like they've been wronged. Those feelings are real and that's okay. But how we deal with those feelings, that's what's important. Making peace isn't always easy, but if you've put your trust in Jesus, God gives the Holy Spirit to help. I'm sorry, John, I was being distracting on purpose. And I'm sorry that I was being a meanie face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we ruined the first annual Putting for Change nine hole miniature golf invitational. Are you kidding? I told you, I love the idea. You guys can change lives, especially when you learn how to make peace and spread that peace to others. And you know what? I'm gonna be your first sponsor. You, you will? will? Yep, which means <laughs> much better. I'll see you guys. Reveal the question. What are some ways to make peace? Well, saying you're sorry can help. Or talking about what's wrong. Yeah, maybe you could uh, try and look at things from other people's point of view. Yeah, and remember, you can be a peacemaker even if you're not the one in the argument. Yeah, totally. Hey, hey, you wanna play another few rounds? You bet. We'll see you next week for a brand new show. See ya. Oh. Here, 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 chicken. Chicken in the can. Empty the pens. I'm gonna make this. No, those are the obstacles. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh! Not even close. Oh, man. You wanna try? Blame it on the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did wanna try. Here we go. All right.
Oh, you're gonna do the, yeah, the old right. pool cue. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank everybody. you. Thank We're you. All thank done. you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any change? Good night, everybody. <laughs>